So in this setup, what we're trying to show is that we can read values from the current transformer to a power measurement card through a CAN coupler and relay the values back to the master controller. So here we have a PFC200 controller, which uh, has a CAN and Ethernet interface. So I'm connected via Ethernet to the computer. I'm connected with a D sub connector to a CAN module, which is then connected to the CAN coupler. So now in my program here, I'll just run here. So setting up the communication with the CAN coupler and the CAN master can be quite tricky. So how you do it is you just use the CAN configurator and you add, oh man. So how that is done is you go into the CAN configurator and you add a coupler, which is our 337 here. And to make sure that they communicate well, you need to set the board rate here and then touch base parameters. And you make the CAN parameters on the coupler uh, node ID two and the master will be a node ID, node ID one. So next, because we have an output card, which is 16 bit, we add the next 16 bits to set them to the outputs. And then the next 24 bytes is the information we receive from our power measurement card. So this program, so the next 24 bytes we've used to receive the uh, information from the power measurement card, and this program is on the master controller. So how we, know, how we knew to add um, which bytes um, belong to which card is because we followed the node ID um, in the order. So we have an output card there, so we know the first 16 bits are for the output card, and then the rest are for the power measurement card. Okay, and just to show you the visualization. So this is the current reading that we are getting, and this is this visualization is just imported from um, an inbuilt library um, that we have.